Well, hello again, Pokemon players around the world. It's the moment of truth. This video will show you how to connect to somebody and play Red Shark with them online. Now, I'm going to open up Hamachi, right click somebody's name, and I'm going to ask him if he wants to play a game. While I'm waiting on his answer, I'm going to go ahead and open up Red Shark just in case he says yes. You won't have to wait forever for the Red Shark program to load. It normally takes about 30 to 40 seconds for the Red Shark program to load up. Notice he's already answered me. He said sure. So I said thanks. Now we know we're about to play each other. Get my Red Shark screen moved over here. I need to know who's going to host. Is he going to host or am I going to host? If I host, all I do is hit game and start game. If he hosts, I have to enter in his information so my computer knows what it's connecting to. Alright, he's going to host. So now, I need to let him know. Give me a second, let me type in your IP number and your name. There. Okay, now, I'm going to go to my Red Shark program. And I'm going to click game new game and I'm going to make sure I'm in guest mode because he's the host and I'm the guest now I'm gonna look for a deck that I need to play with uh, and notice all your decks that you've built and played before are showing a drop down box here the one on the left is if I'm the host the one on the right is if I'm the guest now I'm gonna change the uh, host IP I'm gonna type his name in right here and I'm gonna paste in his IP number. Now I noticed I highlighted it and I copied it. So I'm just gonna hit Control V and paste his IP. You can hand type it if you wanna go the slow route. All right, if everything is set, now I'm letting him know I'm ready. When he says go, I'm gonna hit start to start this game. And I told him I was ready. Okay, he says he's ready. Now I get a, I'm gonna hit start. You have to make sure he's ready. Notice how it automatically connected since we were both ready to go. I'm in the blue, I'm player B because I'm the guest. He's player A in the red because he's the host. Notice everything he has is a question mark. You can see my cards because, you know, it's my screen. But you can't see his cards, so everything is fair. Well, let me right click Smeargle and select play face down. And I'm going to right click my unknown queue and I'm going to play that face down. Drag the queue on the bench here. Those are my cards in my hand. Now I need to know who goes first. So I call Tails. He's going to choose the coin icon next to his deck. And he's going to click it. And it, there it is. There's the flip. It's Tails. Alright, I go first. I'm going to right click my cards to flip them over. Then I'm going to choose the blue button. That says start turn. That's going to automatically draw a card for me. And I'm going to start my turn. Uh, I drew a seeker. That doesn't help at all. But I got Smeargle. Click Smeargle. And then the screen on the right, I'm going to click portrait. And he knows that I've just used that power. Well, there's his hand. He, there's no supporters there to help me. But he, he did that by clicking player A and then selecting show opponent my hand. Okay, there's not a whole lot here that can help me, so I think I'm going to have to hit in turn and just pass and let him do his thing. I'll have a pretty good hand for my next turn though. I shouldn't attach water to anybody or warp energy to anybody. I'm just going to end my turn here. Okay, his turn. Let's see what he does. Now notice I hit in turn. He's going to hit the red button, start turn, and he's going to start his turn. He puts down a Luxray SP radar card that lets him get another SP Pokemon. Now, he's going to right click his deck and choose view deck. The chat box let, lets us know that he chose view deck. That means he's looking through his deck right now for Pokemon. And now we wait. Oh, there it is, a Crobat G. So now he's going to flash bite. He's going to click on his card and select flash bite. Somebody in the Hamachi box is trying to talk to me. So he asked me for a game. 
So I said I'm in one right now and I went back to my game to let him know that I'm playing a game. I'll probably get back to him later and do some more play testing. Okay, he flash bit my active so I clicked on Smeargle, I hit the plus 10 red button there and added 10 damage to my Smeargle. Notice it says in between turns, that means it's my turn. I hit start turn, I draw into an Eevee, put Eevee on the bench, broken time space, evolved a Glaceon, I'm going to attach this water energy to the Glaceon. Oh, I've got some cards now. Let's try level max. And let's see if I can make this Glaceon a level X. Flip the coin by clicking on it. Ooh, look at there. All right, it's heads. Woohoo! All right, right click the deck. I'm going to view my deck, click Pokemon so I can see just the Pokemon cards. There's Glaceon right there. So I'm going to hit send and close. It's going to send it to the play mat. Let's drag this over top and level up. Boom, there it is. All right. Now, I discarded the trainer by right clicking and choosing discard. I'm gonna portrait now. Let's see if he's got any supporters yet. Nope, doesn't help me at all, but I know he's got Luxray in his hand. Okay, I'm gonna try to connect this unknown cube by double clicking quick. I clicked on the card, double click quick, and I'm gonna attach it to the smear goal. And then, uh-oh, I forgot to ask if he wanted to power spray. Let me go ahead and right click and hit detach. That takes it back off. And he says, okay, go ahead and do it. Now, click back on the cube. And then I'm gonna drag it over the Smeargle. He thought I was gonna block my own power with the Glaceon, but it doesn't block me. So, all right, there we go. And I'm going to retreat, go to my Glaceon, too bad there's no more energy in my hand. I better, now look, it's X, but I'm going to click the tab under the level X, and you can see the attacks and stuff on the cards below the level X, see, on the right. So now I'm clicking stage one, tab, and I'm going to select Snow Cloak, double click it, and the attack is announced. Now I'm going to flip to see if my effect for snow cloak is gonna hold water or not <laughs> pun intended and it's heads so it worked then I'm gonna click end turn and that's how you connect to somebody else and play the Pokemon trading card game using Hamachi and Red Shark I hope this has been useful and helpful and if there are any questions Simply go to pokegym.net where there are places where you could ask your questions and there are also FAQs available so you can read how to's and frequently asked questions. Hey, you have a good time playing Pokemon online.